Hello. Uh, well, today I'm continuing to talk about uh, the Rocky movies with uh, Rocky II. Second film is the first in the franchise to be directed by Sylvester Stallone. Uh, he, of course, wrote this film as he did with the first film, and of course, starring in it. Um, but yeah, um, in this film, you know, uh, Apollo Creed really wants to have a rematch because while he won the fight, he didn't beat Rocky. You know, a lot of people believe. Um, because in the first film, he went the distance with uh, Rocky, or Rocky went the distance with Apollo. And even though he won, at the same time, you know, they uh, were so close that people think that uh, Apollo purposely th threw the match essentially to, you know, have it be that way so that Rocky would have a chance to maybe uh, have the title of course in the first film he doesn't he loses and um yeah um uh, Adrian and um Rocky get married in this film um and uh she becomes pregnant and also with the winning or the money he got from the fight with Apollo you know his earnings I should say uh Rocky kind of uh, impulsively buys things like you know has a gets a car or gets some cool uh nice expense or like expensive like uh clothes for himself as well as uh uh Adrian and um gets a house basically you know when somebody like rocky you know didn't have much money and now all of a sudden he has some money uh, quite a bit he starts to you know splurging on things and doesn't completely keep track of how much he has and uh eventually he has to get a job and first he tries to do commercials but he's not very good at you know, reading, or necessarily even, like, acting to some extent. And throughout the film, we see him, you know, read, or, uh, trying to read better. That way, he, you know, it, maybe not necessarily for commercials, but he's able to, you know, you know, speak better. Uh, but when that doesn't all work out, he uh, has to go and try to find some other job because you know he wants to kind of fight in a way but you know he has something with his eye you know it's like that he's got something with his eye and uh he could potentially go blind he's not able to really like see out of one eye uh the best and um while he goes to uh work at the meat factory that Polly uh, worked at after a while he gets laid off because he had to lay off some people and unfortunately since Rocky is new he has to he gets the axe uh, basically and so uh, yeah so things aren't always looking up for you know, Rocky at various points in this film. And Apollo wants to, to fight. And, you know, for Rocky, it's like he, you know, it's like they already fought. It, he doesn't want a rematch. But because of his financial situation, and he's not exactly either good at too many other things or certain things he is pretty good at, he's uh, just not... You know, really able to 
uh, do much. You know, he applied for other pl uh, positions when he needed a job, but, you know, he couldn't find any because of, like, you know, the fact that he doesn't have, like, a high school diploma, for one. And, um, yeah, he's just not in the best position. Of course, Adrian doesn't want, you know, him to go and, uh, Uh, doesn't want to go and uh, uh, fight again due to like you know issues with his eye and also her being pregnant also. But you know eventually you know it gets to where uh, you know she's uh. You know, and and even up, it, it you know, Mickey doesn't really want to because of the whole eye thing. But then when he sees how Pilot Creed's talking about Rocky on TV, he has a change of heart. But then when Adrian goes into labor and gives birth to their child, she's not in a coma, and so uh, Rocky is beside her. He doesn't want to leave her. He's just staying there at the hospital as long as he can and he doesn't even see their son until you know she's awake he just you know it's like whatever ambition and drive to fight again that he had kind of sort of goes away but then after a while uh, uh Apollo uh, or well Apollo was training uh, quite a bit you know um, and when Adrian finally wakes up, she tells him to win. And so this begins really, uh, Rocky's, you know, training, you know, in the first film, there's that montage and, you know, in all these movies, there's basically a training montage, but there's another one here and he's working out the best that he can. And he uh, is doing his best and, uh. They finally have a rematch of Apollo and Rocky. And, uh, you know, they're going at it for quite some time. And uh, Adrian is home. Um, because, you know, it, she's eventually able to, you know, obviously leave home from the hospital. But she's not at the ring. Because also she has a newborn baby. So obviously she's going to stay home and take care of the child while also watching t television and also Polly is there um you know he's uh just you know Ed, Paolo and Rocky are just going at it for through many rounds and uh, eventually you know they knock each other down but Rocky gets up in time to where uh he's the winner you know, counting down or counting to like, you know, one, two, three, four, you know, all that. And then he gets, he stands up uh, in time and is the only one really standing by the time the uh, counting is done. And Rocky is the winner and now the new champ. And uh, I've heard people say that this is like the, like the closest in tone in the series to the original Rocky. Um which I can definitely see that. I can see how this is basically really in, to in tone, considering how some of the sequels go. But, you know, it's uh, pretty, uh, it's a pretty good film overall, you know, for a follow-up, you know, taking place as, as soon as the last film pit, uh, left off. Um, Stone does a great job, uh, acting everybody does too you know it's always cool to see Burgess Meredith as Mickey and um, uh, the, the direction is really good so is the writing um, you know as far as sequels go especially uh, sequels that were not planned you know you know a Rocky sequel wasn't really something in the cards when Stallone wrote the first film you know he wrote that as a vehicle for himself to the star of a film and it worked out for him but because of the huge success of the first film they uh, are like well we gotta make a second film and so 
they did. And uh, that just sort of spawned, you know, uh, a, a franchise, a franchise that wasn't intended. And um, it's definitely a very good film. Uh, yeah, I went over the basically the major beats of the film. Um, no doubt there's other things in the film, but that one could really talk about. Some people do that very well in depth, but for the most part, this film is actually is a, is a very good film. It's a very good sequel. Um, I don't believe it's better than the first Rocky film, but there might be some people who think it is. You know, it does. It, it definitely ramps up the stakes for Rocky. You know, now he's married and also has a child. So you, you now really want him to win even more, even though we know of the, uh, you know, the problem with his eye and what kind of ramifications that could have if he, you know, goes blind there. But, you know, uh, it's also kind of funny to see him drive a car. It's like he's, he hasn't really driven one in probably like years. Like, you know, it's, yeah, we could probably assume that. Yeah, he does have a driver's license, but, you know, he really doesn't drive. He never really drove much before. And in the first film, we see him walking around throughout, uh, you know, Philadelphia from his home to go from one place to another. He's able to, you know, just get around on his own, just walking. And, uh, here he drives, and it's not the greatest, but it, it, it's 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 still funny. It's pretty cool um, just to see how there's some more humor in this film. Uh, uh, not that there wasn't in the uh, uh, original film, the first film, but, you know, this film, there's a little more uh, humor. And I think that kind of helps it, too. It, um, though... No doubt some people are the biggest fans of the humor because of uh, how, you know, in some of the later installments. Uh, I guess some people will think that it kind of got silly at parts or at times. And so what was once a pretty serious uh, dramatic film with, uh, with uh, boxing as the backdrop, well, now we've... You know, we still have that, but now there's a little more certain moments that are a bit more uh, maybe ridiculous, some could say. But, uh, yeah. I'll just let you... Uh, uh, just let you think of that as you will, if you want. You know, just whatever you think about the sequels. Um, but... You know, uh, and also I will get to those as we go along, obviously, with this, uh, talking about this franchise. Um, but yeah, I enjoy this film. It's a very good film. Um, I think this is a movie that is definitely worth watching. Uh, you know, after the first film, I think all these films are worth watching, honestly. But, uh, you know, the way the first film ended was as perfect as could be, but, you know, they kept going, and uh, it's really cool to see how, uh, you know, the characters kind of, you know, they grow and what all is going on with them in their lives. It's just, uh, yeah, it's nice. It's nice to see. Um, and, uh, yeah. That's really all I have to say. It's a very good film. I enjoy it. I think it's definitely worth watching. It's not one of those sequels that was just, you know, it wasn't just made because the first one was a success. You know, even though that no doubt, no doubt had a part in it, in the making of it, it, it is very clear, I think, that uh, Stallone cared about the material and the characters and the world that everybody is in with Rocky so there was definitely care it wasn't one of those films that just kind of happened just because uh, the first film was a success and 
yeah very good film uh, yeah it's really all I can say uh, about it uh, but if uh, you want to comment uh, what you think about this film you may uh, do so or not you know it's up to you regardless I hope all of you are doing well hope you're all having a great day hope you're all having a great week and I'll see you all next time bye